Um, hello, good morning, everybody. My name is Juan Liscano. <clears throat> I'm going to do a presentation for assignment 9, module 3. I selected a student uh, by the name Hunter Bolton. Uh, she is a 7th grader white female. Um, she is part of the WSWD. She also has free and reduced lunch. It's a little bit about her demographics. A uh, few things that caught my attention from her when I was uh, reviewing the data. Uh, her scores on the Florida Standard Assessments were uh, very low. She is a level one on reading, and she's also a level one in math. Her math scale scores are 287. Her reading scale scores are 285. <coughs> So she is a little bit by two points, a little bit higher on her math level than her reading level, but they're both Radio, pretty low. The um, of for the Florida assessments in reading, a uh, few things that caught my attention was that she was a five percentile in the word recognition task. Um, she was a 17 percentile in the vocabulary knowledge task. She was a three percentile in the reading comprehension comprehension task, and she was a one percentile on the synta syntactic knowledge test. What I can an analyze from this part is what her, from her disabilities, uh, she is a little bit in the lower uh, efficient scale side. Um, so there is a little bit of tutoring and more hands-on activities that might help. Uh, this individual. Um, <clears throat> so I would like to find out more information about her IEP and if her and her 504 plan to be able to meet her accommodations primarily. Reviewing the data versus the state, I was able to identify the levels where uh, the student was. Uh, we need to get her get her for now to a uh, 207 sorry let me see a number again 307 uh, <clears throat> so we can get her to the level 2 criteria that was in reading this can be accomplished again by giving her supplementary uh, activities intensive instruction one-on-one tutoring uh, <clears throat> by helping her increase her vocabulary and sentence complexity. Uh, the goal is to help her get to a level two for now if we want to really uh, get her to a level three so we can get her EOC scores. The bell just rang here, sorry. Same thing with math, we need to be able to get her out to, in this case, a level Two, and this is again at three, <clears throat> three or five. Um, this can be accomplished by one-on-one -on -one tutoring and <clears throat> uh, intensive directions during the day, during the class period in her math class. Uh, for her reading comprehension skills, um, I, I was thinking good ideas would be decoding words. Reading plus is another good component that can be implemented. And one-on-one -on -one activity with the child uh, are the main parts that are going to help. To get uh, more data from the student, we can create uh, some uh, formative and summative assessments. Formative assessments could be <clears throat> A comprehension hand, hand signals based on depending which class she's on. Uh, also, an X is slipped. Uh, if we can communicate with this child, she can write full sentences. But by not knowing this child, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, different summative assessments can be weekly uh, vocabulary quizzes. Uh, depends on the standards that are going to be tested during this time. But everything needs to be kept records for future references. And that's my reference page. Thank you.